This is the setup video for the S500. On the S500, on the back, everything is very clearly labeled. The top port is labeled line. That's your inbound line for any phone connection. The bottom port on that one is labeled phone. This device has a built-in splitter, so if you're using a line for a phone, you can attach a phone as well to this device. The next one is labeled LAN. This is your Ethernet connection coming from your internet router. The next one is labeled pin pad. The S500 has a built-in pin pad, so you can use it as a pin pad itself, or you can attach a pin pad for an external pin pad. The next spot is the RS232 port, most commonly used for check readers. It can be used for any additional RS232 devices. And lastly, you have your power. Today we're going to show you how to set this device up using the Wi-Fi, but it's also built in. Wi-Fi parameters can be set up by pressing the menu button, scrolling down to communications, which is the next menu down. The password is always going to be the date, so today is the 27th of June, so it's going to be 0627-2018, enter. First thing you want to verify is what the main communication is set at, so main communication should be set at number 2, so we'll press Wi-Fi for number 2. You then scroll down to Wi-Fi parameters in the next option. So from Wi-Fi parameters, you can set the SSID, which is the Wi-Fi name, and the password manually. We recommend going down to the switch router menu. The S500 has a search Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi wizard, essentially. You'll select your Wi-Fi network, and then at that point, it will actually prompt you for the password. So you'll type the password in. To do letters, you'll do the number and then the alpha key which is right below the menu button. Once you have the password and the SSID in, the device will then initialize once you get out of the communications menu. This will let you confirm that the device is now connected to your Wi-Fi. The signal to show that the Wi-Fi is connected is the Wi-Fi signal on the far right of the top will go from gray to blue. This, sig this signifies that you have a good connection to your Wi-Fi network. This does not, however, tell you that you have an internet connection. So if the device is still not working after you have a signal here, you would double check to make sure your internet is up and running as well. Any questions about the device or to purchase the S500, you can visit us at mpipos.com. Thank you.